All right, good morning, guys. Welcome to pre-market analysis. If I will be trading today, I don't know, because I already banked my profits for the week. There's no rush. There's no pressure. There's nothing at all. So I don't know if I'll be trading today. It's 7.15. Let's do a pre-market analysis for EU, GU, DXY. And let's just see. So my ID yesterday where I said I want to see the buy come from this area. That's That was wrong. I did say that this was quite high. So if we come deeper into it, we might just turn around and continue lower. That's actually what happened. So yeah, I was wrong. Um, But well, not completely wrong. Just my main bias didn't play out and my short trade actually continued lower. But I was careful. I followed a step to the plan. So it was great. Um. And now let's go into today. So we got a previous daily high up here. We got a previous daily low down here. And what else do we have? So we broke down here. Now got this range as well. That he's reached into the premium that range. You can actually see that we have a demand uh, supply zone over here. Um, can also take this one from this low up to this high, maybe. I think that's more of a one hour, yeah, it's more of a one hour zone. Mm. We tap above. What the fuck is this? Sorry. No. Oh, I lost my screen. Hold up. Why does it open right there? I don't. Why is it open big like that anyway? So this one there. Now share screen again. All right, so back to it. Give me one second. So they're good to take out. Yeah. So we are still in this bullish range from this low up to this high. We also have a nice one hour UI, I think. So actually let's just take that one and take this as one. What? One hour, <laughs> it's tripping. One hour PY. Yeah, I think that's a good one. And we now came deeper into this demand zone, but really we already tapped into it. So I see this. We now have this bearish break over here. We had, <clears throat> we had the bullish one. Now we have the bearish continuation. Um can see that we already took most of the internal range uh, liquidity. We got one more high up here, but that's only for this area. If anything, we can probably rea react nicely from this support zone. <clears throat> Sorry. We still got Asia highs up here. So for my plan, we took Asia lows. For my plan, um, yeah, it's a bit tricky one. 
I would say, yeah, so we didn't tap into that. So I would take this 50 minute PY, including this high as well. Because if you go lower, oh, it doesn't need to be, doesn't need to be included. But usually I work with demand and supply zones now, but for this area, you don't need to. Why? Because, um, we got Asia high just below, so we got the internal range uh, taken. This could be your early sellers, maybe on a 50 minute or something. It's quite large, but it could work out. Um, we didn't have any early sellers yet, so this is our first move. These are our first moves to the downside, anyway. We had some early sellers over here on the way up, to be fair. Taking out the slow and leading up higher. Uh, but for me, this area, why? Because liquidity sits around this area. Uh, we also got that five minute PY, which is even stronger over here. So I can maybe just mark that out a little bit. Five minute PY. All right. So just that we know that that's maybe even a cleaner one and we might not see price tap into this 50 minute supply zone, but this supply zone sits, sits above the liquidity. So it seems for me to be a quite fair area to look for sales. Um. And that's my main bias for today is following up those the sell move now. And I think actually that we might take out this low over here. Uh, of course, I don't know. So, but I see that happening now. And hopefully we get the move from here. If not, then we just focus on bearish ranges. And you can see now that as we start to come lower and lower, this minus structure is starting to expand. And it's actually now taking longer to follow that minus structure as in this was like one session or one day. And now this is already from last Wednesday and we're still inside the same range. That's not That doesn't mean that we are ranging. It just takes longer and price is... Um, bearing it's uh, getting into a trip area where we trip buyers and sellers, something like this. Uh, what we had in December, uh, in April, we had the same, especially in December last year, over here, where these ranges, minus structures, and suddenly we stay. All December inside that range, of course, because we slowed down, but yeah. So yeah, um, forecast wise, my pre market analysis, we have previous daily highs above, so um, we are working with this bearish range, which is a previous daily high, previous daily low. Ideally, you want to see price come close to the previous daily high and then give us the turnaround to take our previous daily lows, take out the liquidity, and then maybe get the move from here. Or we go further down, and this was just liquidity grab. Now for DXY, it's a little bit more clean. Uh, we can actually... Take that liquidity or take this trend line and then turn around. But I, when I look at DXY and look at this range, I actually see DXY just come higher and take out this four hour high. <clears throat> I know it's a bit of a whack analysis. <laughs> My energy is a bit low, but yeah. I can see maybe it's because I'm not trading. I don't care anymore. I don't trade. 
yeah, I see just let's follow this range for now. If you come above up here, we can look for sells. If we come below this liquidity, we can look for buys. Um, we will line it up with DXY and this trend line slash equal highs up here. We got a nice one hour POI that sits here as well. So then for GU, um Yeah, that was yesterday. We tapped into that. We took out liquidity on the 50 minute. That's where the move came from. Can I get the this one? There we go. Like that. So, and then this can go actually. We tapped into that. We on GU, we still holding that bullish range for now, but it's not looking that really promising either. We are seeing the highs here. Previous daily lows. Asia high up here. Sure yeah. Same as the EU taken. Uh yeah, let's let's mark it out like this. So this is my bias, not saying that this will happen. This is what I'm looking for to get into a trade. So if you move down straight right away, I'm not looking for trades. Um, and then if we move, we get down here and get an entry, then I'm either looking to buy from there or buy from low previous weekly lows, previous uh month. Yeah, previous weekly low, previous day lows, of course. But essentially, after that bearish break, no, I'm just marking that out. But actually, zooming out is an area we want to buy from. Over here, there are some demand zones, but we got the trend line marked out as well. Nice how we took that and then. That's great to see. So, reality is, if there's not a clean area yet to look for bias from, then we just wait for a clean turnaround again before we look for bias. <laughs> yeah, that's really it. So, one or two cell areas actually. Uh, and two buy areas for EU, for GU. Looking for this area to buy from uh, or lower than that, but GU is still bearish. And we already tapped into the premium, although we want to ideally see price come above here. It's not necessary. And we can see that it's building up this. I'm going to mark it on again. I don't know why I deleted it. Should just keep it on. It's building up this trend line here. So, and for DXY, of course, these highs that's basically the inversion of EU. Get a move from here or get a move from above here. So, yeah, that's it, guys. It's a bit of a uh, not the greatest forecast or pre market analysis, but it's not needed for me. And it's pretty straightforward. Two areas here to sell from, two areas to buy from. And GU, one area to buy from to line up with DXY. Other than that, I would wait for GU to get below here maybe and then look for buys. And that's actually 
a reduction of the size of this range, because this is quite large, 11th or even the 10th of May until the 25th to reach the bottom. And now this way up is from 25 to 2nd of June. So if we now get down, it's a bit more aggressive. It's better, it's an easier range to work with, easier to understand. Uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Peace out.